It's a great pleasure and an honor to meet you. You have one. But Thank you. I would love to get Rifa a bigger telescope one of these days. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NEEF 2023. NEEF is the Northeast Astronomy Forum, the premier space and astronomy event in all of the continental United States. I've been invited by Celestron. Let's go check out NEEF. I got the opportunity to meet some amazing people at NEEF 2023, including the CEO of Celestron himself, Mr. Corey Lee, as well as Mr. Kevin Kwai, who has been supporting us here at Berry Science Lab since day one, sending many amazing telescopes, the Star Science Explorer, the next YZ, what's more to come? We'll see. Hi folks, uh, we're here with uh, Mr. Kevin. First of all, thank you, Kevin, for everything you've done. It's a great pleasure and an honor to meet you. Thank you. I wow. knew I knew when NEEF was announced for this year, I said to myself, I gotta, I gotta invite Rifat <laughs> and, his, and his younger brother to come here to, this is like Disneyland for yeah. you. Yeah, I no. mean, this is all about astronomy and space. We donated uh, Star Sense Explorer 130. And you've been using it so well in all your videos. Thank you. From the CEO to our marketing manager uh, to the whole Celestron team, we've just been enjoying you. your videos with you and your little brother. Thank you, you so much. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And you, both of you and your brother are so inspiring for people. You're the next generation of scientists. But uh, we are we are standing on the shoulders of giants <laughs> like you and uh, and Celestron. So. Well, Celestron, Thank we've you. been around since 1960. Right. So oh, 63. Right. Oh yeah. We, we got the pin I right here. That. The pin. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, awesome. Well, you know, you're, you. you're our Celestron ambassador, Thank and you. we want you to continue to be successful. Produce more of those videos. <laughs> we love it. Oh man, I would love oh, that. Oh my God, yeah. we. We're big fans, and we're Thank just you. looking forward for more video content. Oh, so you need I'm to looking home. forward to making more oh, once my your, finals and, are done. And your, oh, yes, and your lunar images with the oh, next yes. YZ. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have one. But Thank you. Yeah. I would love to get Rifa a bigger telescope one of these days. This That little baby uh, Star Sense Explorer DX130 is just the beginning. Um, I, I won't say anything else. Okay. I don't want to spill the beans, but it's uh, it's going to be good. Thank you so much, Kevin. You're so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I have to introduce you to Corey Lee, our CEO. Hi, folks. I'm here with the CEO of Celestron. Hi, I'm Corey. I'm very excited to be here uh, with uh, with you, Mr. Corey Lee, and uh, to see Celestron's exhibition. So. Yes, yes. It's, we are very happy to be back here again after about three years. Yeah. We've been away from here, right? Everybody knows about the pandemic. So we're very happy to be here talking to all the consumers again, yeah. seeing all our friends within the industry, also have some new products we want to show to everybody. So yes, it's been a real good show. It's going to be another good show tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Steven Bellavia, a senior research engineer at Brookhaven National Laboratory, who showed me how to see Venus through his custom rig Orion telescope. And furthermore, I even met Gary the astronomer, who showed me how to find the altitude of the sun using his sextant. Hello folks, uh, we're here with Stephen Bellavere. And uh, so Stephen's got a telescope set up right here to look at the planet Venus. A bit about that, Stephen? Yeah, so Venus is visible in the daytime most of the year. It's very bright, it's okay. magnitude negative four. Wow. I write down the altitudes in a table. And then I use a level gauge to get the altitude. That's amazing. And then I sweep an azimuth until it shows up. It's TS Optics photo line, very much like an Orion 72 millimeter okay. doublet. Very small. And there's a little opening happening right now. So hold okay. on. Okay. And I think we're going to get it again. We could get a view. Yeah, of, and then uh, you'll get a view. That'll be great. Okay. Thank okay. you for Thank your time. You. Yeah. Thank you. Folks, I'm standing right here in front of uh, Daystar Filters. Uh, it's a company that advertises filters for telescopes. Now, you might wonder why are filters so important for telescopes? Well, they help you see through different kinds of wavelengths of light. So, for example, if you use a UV filter, you might be able to see through interstellar clouds. Uh, different kinds of filters help you focus on different kinds of images. This is a vintage Mead 6-inch F9 refractor. My name is Gary Fix. And... Oh, look at my badge. It says Gary the Astronomer. <laughs> All right. And what I've got is I've got a pan of water. This little window is right. half mirror and half glass. Right. The image of the sun down in the pan through the window, divide that by two, and that'll give me the altitude of the sun. All Thank right. you for your time. Uh, Gary oh, and uh, thank, thank, thank you. you. Folks, me and my mom are here at Neve. Uh, we are very excited. Mom reaction. No reaction, that's good. Okay. Mom, what yeah. do you have here? Here is the NIF ticket. <laughs> Entering the showroom for the Northeastern Astronomy Expo, NIF, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. 
Look how huge this is. Oh my god. Somebody pinch me because I think I'm in heaven. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's too big. That's that that's too many telescopes. Too many telescopes for one man. Mr. Carl Bednars of Celestial Charts, who showed me some amazingly produced custom charts of the northern and southern hemispheres of the Earth, the Moon, various planets, and even our own night sky. Carl Bednars of Celestial Chart. We make uh, star charts and we make various types. It's a small business. Leandro Guedes is the astrophysicist. It's all proven scientific data. Um, we they worked, look beautiful. We worked with Sky and Telescope, who their best then analyzed the data oh, and wow. they approved. They liked it. Oh, so, wow. uh, Congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you. That's and, a big um, deal. So all of these are, are, are copyrighted and they're original. Okay. It's a small business and uh, eco friendly. How can people find uh, Celestial Charts? How can they find your small business? Well, right now we're on eBay. That's okay. our store. Celestialchart.com is our website. But we're rebuilding the website right now. Okay. Folks, check out Celestialchart.com for more of these beautiful sky prints. And thank I you. I apologize that there's too many ads on it right now. <laughs> we're, we're working okay. to take that out. <laughs> thank, thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you. I also got the chance to talk with Mr. Ruichi Hashimoto of Takahashi Telescopes, who showed me some of his latest and greatest designs in the telescoping world. Uh, Ruichi Hashimoto. Okay, wow. And what what are you showing here? Yeah. What telescopes? Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about it? it uh, this is TOA-130. Mm -hmm. The Tori Pratt is a, is a flagship telescope. Okay. Yes. And uh, this is mirror reflector. This one? Yeah. Okay, wow. The center of the bright is a telescope, okay. very popular. Okay. And this is uh, the FC series fluoride lenses using okay. fluoride, you know? Yeah. Fluoride lenses. Oh, wow, that's, yeah. that's expensive. Originally Takahashi. Wow. Yes, and uh, this is the brother, fluoride okay. brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Barry Butler and John Higby showed me some beautifully restored classic telescopes from decades back, but restored to perfection. This is the six-inch Tinsley, and it's been restored by John. He has uh, yeah. done a good job, brought it up from Virginia. My name's John Higby. I'm an amateur astronomer. You know, bringing it up to 30 inches above the plate there, uh -huh. which makes it very easy for adults to see things in the uh, in the I'd high sky. This is pretty big, as opposed to adopting horribly uncomfortable and and, and uh, destructive uh, postures to get down into oh, a... Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you'd love to see me, you know, calibrating my scope. I have to do all sorts of dances mm -hmm. and the neighbors think I'm crazy. That's, uh, that, that I think is, uh, is a rite of passage for every amateur <laughs> astronomer. They used to refer to it as the astro weirdo meter. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. CUNY Astronomy. I got my friend and classmate Marcus right here. Howdy. And uh, I've got uh, uh, Mike. Mike. Yeah. Mike, is speaking, uh, Mike is speaking and into the mic. Mike is speaking into the mic, and uh, they're going to talk a little bit about the, the exhibition booth they've got right here. So, uh, yeah, take it away. We are affiliated with the Museum of Natural History. I do black hole research. I've done black hole research for about two years now. That's sick. Two elements of the most abundant in our universe. Okay. Uh, this one here, oh, it's a, wow. bit loud, a bit buzzy, nice, nice, uh, nice. so I'll only keep it on for a minute. This one here is hydrogen. Okay. And if you actually look through it, okay. oh, you put wow. it up to the lens here yeah, if you want. That's, you can yeah. kind of see. And this so, is hydrogen, right? This is hydrogen. Okay. And then this one here is helium. Okay. And so these kind of two combined along with a bunch of other elements are kind of things that you might find in a star or in the gaseous elements of a galaxy. Thank you, Jake. Of course. All right. Hello folks, this is Weefal Bari from Barry Science Lab. I'm excited to attend meet. I just spotted an observatory, literally a, a like a knock knock. Who's there? No, <laughs> oh, I, I don't even know. <laughs> no, it's just an empty dome. Yeah. Hello folks, I've arrived at meet and uh, let's go check out Celestron's booth. CUNY! Astro. Astro. Okay guys, so uh, yeah. We've got the whole Avengers squad here and uh, I'm Captain America. <laughs> <laughs>